Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So for uh, for today we go to the chapter two, uh, descriptive statistic. Okay, uh, the learning outcomes. Uh, at the end of this uh, chapter, uh, students will be able to organize and represent qualitative and quantitative data using an appropriate analysis tool. Okay, second, uh, students will be able to differentiate between the group and ungroup data. Uh, third, uh, students will be able to describe and summarize the data using numerical descriptive measure and graphical exploratory data analysis tools. Okay, so uh, the contents uh, to this chapter is data organization and presentation, measure of central tendency, measure of location, measure of dispersion, and measure of keenness. Uh, so for today, we go to the uh, first and second topic only. Okay. So, uh, what is the data organization and presentation? Eh? Data presentation is a method to summarize, organize, and communicate information for a set of data using a variety of tools such as diagram, frequency distribution, and uh, charts and graph. The qualitative data can be classified into categories. Eh? Uh, they can best be presented in the form of frequency distribution bar chart pie chart and contingency table see uh, this is a pie chart uh, this is a pie chart uh, uh, a pie chart uh, uh, example of pie chart is as example of bar chart okay bar chart tu uh, dia petak-petak uh, dia meninggi uh, next, uh, graphical method for qualitative data. Frequency distribution is a table that displays the frequency of various outcomes in a sample. There are many types of frequency distribution table. Uh, uh, one way table information concerning one variable. Uh, so, ni adalah one variable. Uh, ada satu je variable. Okay, uh, laptop model SR12, uh, HP7, ASUS12. Uh, Okay, laptop model by uh, table 1. Uh, this is a title. Uh, table 1, laptop model used by student in a uh, class A. Okay, uh, second contingency table uh, or cross tabulation information cons concern two variable. Ada uh, two variable. Uh, X, Y. Uh, income and then, uh, so this is expenses. Okay. Uh, so, table 3, number of star register for training. Uh, okay, uh, this is an uh, uh, example. Uh, variable, uh, this is variable, uh, category, frequency, top column, uh, any frequency. Okay, uh, any total. Uh, total. Okay, so graphical method, uh, example 1. Uh, the sensor of the department in Bukit Besi conducted a survey on the type of car brand in Masjid Bukit Besi on Friday prior last week. And the data acquired are shown below. And construct a frequency distribution table for this data. So, ni adalah jenis-jenis uh, uh, type of car brand. So, the answer is Honda. Okay, sini. One, one, Honda, two, two. 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, so, uh, for Toyota, for 2, for Tony Nissan, the total is 42. Okay. Uh, Besides frequency, there are other ways to describe distribution which are relative frequency and percentage. What is the relative frequency? Frequency over total frequency percentage uh, times with 100. Uh, so we get uh, percentage. Uh, this is relative frequency. Uh, uh, so 10 over 42. Uh, so kita dapat 0 0.24. 
and then times 100 uh, we get 24 uh. so uh, uh, okay pie chart uh, a circle that divide into sector which represent the relative frequency or percentage of a uh, population or a sample belong to different categories uh, this is an example for pie chart uh, bar chart a graph made of bar and there are few type of bar chart uh, vertical bar chart multiple bar chart uh, component bar chart okay and then percentage component bar chart okay uh, and ada empat jenis bar chart okay next frequency distribution for group data uh, what is class limit the end value of class interval Class boundary, a value that form midway between the upper limit of one class and the lower limits of the next one. Class midpoint, titik tengah, the middle value of a class interval. Class midpoint, uh, lower limit plus upper limit of a two. Class width, uh, lebar class, upper boundary minus lower boundary. Cumulative frequency, uh, frequency terkumpul uh, is determined by summing the frequencies for the class and all prior class ok next example 2 ok uh, lower class limit upper class limit class boundary and uh, this is class boundary uh, class midpoint ok class midpoint uh, 1 plus 4 over 2 uh, 5 plus 8 over 2 ok eh? so far cumulative frequency summing eh? ataupun uh, penambahan eh? terkumpul 16 eh? 16 plus 20 36 plus 28 64 ok uh, so class width dia lebar class dia selang class dia adalah 4.5 minus 0.5 we get 4 Ok, example 3 Ok Example, ok, graph of frequency distribution Histogram uh, We have histogram uh, Ok, this is a guideline to draw the histogram Example, based on example 2 in slide 12 Draw a histogram for the given data yang ni contoh data ok, yang ni uh, boundary, uh, 0.5 4.5, 8.5 uh, this is a boundary uh, this is a, a frequency 16 20 uh, and then uh, based on data uh, based on data so frequency polygon uh, a graph that display the data by using lines that connect point plot for the frequency at the midpoint of classes the frequency is represented by the height of the point uh, example example tadi cuma yang ni kita buat dia uh, midpoint uh, midpoint dia uh, so 2.5 midpoint this is a midpoint uh, uh, midpoint so titik tengah Uh, so kita sambung je ok, kita lukis pada titik tengah ni kita sambung je ok so, or give or give a curve also known as cumulative frequency graph drawn based on the cumulative frequency distribution by joining with smooth line the dots mark above the upper boundaries of classes at high equal to the community frequency of respective class uh, so yang ni kita penambahan je lah uh, 0.5 ni ini adalah sempadan dia uh, ni adalah boundaries ok, uh, ni boundaries so yang ni uh, 0, 4.5 uh, ok, yang ni dia punya frekuensi Uh, cumulative frequency eh? cumulative cumulative frequency uh, frequency terkumpul next stem and leaf this block 
represents a graphical display of the data using the actual numerical values of each data point. This plot separates data value into stem leading digits and leaf trailing digit. So for the guidelines for constructing stem and leaf plot, step 1 arrange the data value in order. Divide each measurement into two parts, the stem and the leaf. List all the stem in order from lowest to the highest. Next, for each measurement, record the leaf portion in the same row as its corresponding stems. Example 5. Okay, uh, ni sama juga. Uh, rearrange the data in order. Uh, uh, ni. Okay, cuba buat sendiri eh. Uh, boleh buat tak? 2, 3, 4. Uh, so, this is data. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 9. Uh, this is so dulu. Okay, uh, rearrange the data in order. Uh, ni yang pertama. Method yang pertama, step yang pertama dan step yang ke kedua. Okay. So, measure of central tendency. Uh, we have mean, median and mode. Okay. Uh, so, we go to the next class. Uh. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.